He's the man behind some of the best of British comedy. Mr Blackadder says, when the going gets tough, the tough hide under the table. <laughs> now Ben Elton's returning to where it all began, rewriting his first big West End play for a Perth audience. I wrote this play, which I thought was a great idea then and, and do now. It was called Gasping. Satirical piece about the idea that if, if, if air was as, as containable and as shippable and as saleable as food or fuel, we'd be as short as breath as many people are of food and fuel. Now it's called Gasp, and with mining driving the nation's economy, Elton thinks the play, written 25 years ago, is even more relevant today. The personalities are so huge, the, the, you know, the, the Twiggies and the Clive Palmers and the Gina Reinhardts. It's, it's such a huge part of our culture and I was thinking that play would be so good set in Australia now. One of the reasons, somebody asked me about the play, you know, is it a satire on Clive? And I said, look, Clive is, un, you know, he's self-satirising. You can't, <laughs> there's no joke you can make about Clive that he hasn't really made about himself. 55-year-old Elton is married to Perth musician Sophie Gare. For the past five years, they've lived in Fremantle with their three children. We came to sort of base ourselves here for the kids' teenage years. I mean, it's a, it's a juggling match. My family are British, Sophie's family are Australian. Are you a dinky-dye Aussie yet? Uh, well, I'm, I'm certainly a, I'm a Aussie as far as the ATO are concerned. He can't wait to see his play produced by the Black Swan Theatre Company and performed at the Heath Ledger Theatre. It really is a beautiful auditorium. I mean, it, it's, it's a real jewel uh, for the state to have. So, yeah, it's very special to be able to work in your hometown, a play specifically written for West Australia. Ben Elton was in his 20s when he co-wrote 80s TV classics The Young Ones and Blackadder. Socks are like sex. Tons of it about, and I never seem to get any. <laughs> you were part of such a golden era of British comedians. Do you look back on those earlier days with, with fondness? Yes, of course. I mean, we were all looking back on them with great fondness and great sadness when Rick died recently. In June, Ben lost his great mate and fellow comic genius, Rick Mayle. He was an extraordinarily gifted comic performer. Ben Elton is also a best-selling author and stand-up comedian. 90 minutes of hell trying to get the kids out of bed, feed them, get them dressed, de-knit their heads. While the internet means his children have seen some of his work, Ben hasn't. I've never watched my own work. It's not out of any kind of particular, you know, oh, I never, I, I don't do it, but I'm, I'm really not interested. I'm always looking to the next thing. How do you handle criticism? Well, I certainly, one thing I don't do is I don't Google myself. I mean, the Google is so full of haters, it's so weird, that almost everything is slagged off now. So, in a way, I'm, it's been diluted for me. Because, you know, you can look at, I don't know, somebody puts on a flower show and there'll be haters. <laughs> it's, you know, it's weird. Yeah. And there's this world where the heckler is king. Peggy, are you all right? Did you keel over again? The world-famous comic has been overseeing rehearsals of his latest play. Yes, it's a comedy, but the writer hopes it'll make us think about the world we live in. My ambition as a playwright would be to have people just laughing so much in the, in the theatre that they were just were having a sensual and an emotional experience. But when they get out of the theatre, hopefully then a, a bit of an intellectual experience will kick in and she's like, oh, there's interesting ideas, I wonder what was, you know, what do you feel about that, what do you feel about that? And they won't get on Twitter and bag you. Well, they, I'm sure they, some will. I mean, there is no way you can, you can't, you know, you can't fart on a tube without somebody tweeting it.